Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips here with you from Action Auto Parts. Nice sunny day. We started out at about 17 degrees this morning. It's really not warmed up a lot, but the wind's not blowing, so it's really not bad. Just uh, out at the farm, I had to take some pictures for potential client in Louisville, Kentucky, needing the steering wheel and the kick panels and the door seal plates off the Nissan and I sold the front of the dash out of the 92 Caprice and let me tell you if you've never done this before these things are brittle and I actually broke it I had all the screws out one clip but the guy that's needing it said hey I can fix it I don't have nothing in mind so uh, if you do that uh, a series of screws I'll try to point there's one under the e-brake there's one over there you got, uh, by the glove box, and then there's some underneath and underneath, and then it kind of pops out. But be extremely careful because that old plastic is brittle, and uh, it already had a couple little spots, I think, where somebody might have messed with it before me had tried to do it. But uh, anyway, <coughs> the guy said it was better than what he had. I'm going to give him a discount and send him a little bit of money back, even though it took the same effort to pull it. It's going to take the same money to ship it, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes those things happen. That's why I like the customers pulling the parts. So if they make a mistake, then it's not on me. But anyway, so that car has now started paying for itself, just like the other Caprice and so many other ones. But uh, had a couple guys from uh, over toward Bardstown, Kentucky, came and looked at a seat, the front seat, but uh, the one in this car was about two or three inches too wide. So he didn't want to chance it. So I was already out here. I finished pulling the dash and then corresponded with a guy up in uh, Louisville on the uh, parts out of the Nissan. The only video that I had put on was the, the night that we was unloading this beast. 1939 Lincoln Zephyr. I might as well do a little walk around here of it. And I've got pictures. This thing was deep in a barn. The guy was hired to clean the barn up. And uh, the people told me it had been in the barn for 40 plus years. It was, of course, a naturally, uh, if I can get where the sun won't hit it, uh, a V12. But somebody pulled the flathead V12 out and put a flathead 8 uh, in it. And that's all right. That's still cool. I'd like to have the, the V12. But a couple of the pieces of trim I found inside. This was for uh, an old liquor store in Florence, Kentucky. Frank's Packet. And so this fender says picnic supplies. And then the other one, you can't hardly see it near as good. But uh, it's got the liquor license number on it. But this old thing, it's rough, but... Man, they're so popular, and, and, and guys are fixing them up. I need that for the other side, if anybody's got one laying around. And I need the glass for the headlights. I got the both bezels. But this old car, the floors are bad. Yeah, it's been hit there in that door. But here is the thing. It's not totally rusted out, if that makes sense. The sheet metal's got a lot of dents, but there's, you know, there's stuff to work with. So, man, take the door panel off. He could hammer that door back out. And uh, the same way with, like, the fenders and stuff. Uh, you know, if that fender was off, there's a dent there. Dolly that thing back out. The biggest part of the, the worst rust, body-wise, is right there at that little section below the trunk lid and at the bottom of the trunk lid. So that could be fixed. And then, like I said, just... See that dent? Just dolly some of that stuff out. And, uh, man, what a cool old car. Plus, it's got the original fender skirts laying in it. That was a big plus. Uh, so, anyway, I just want, while I'm here, I kind of got it mixed up. I put two or three cars in one video. But I'm going to go back to the house. I've not had lunch yet, so when my belly gets like that, I don't think clear. But that's it. The other video was like we was unloaded in the dark and in the rain so the windshield's broke i pulled all that old broken glass out that's what's stacked up on the hood i didn't need a couple door glasses and stuff but i don't know man i just i like it 
I like it. Uh, you know, probably not go with the original running gear, but if it's on a Crown Crown Vic frame and do some modern suspension and running gear and fix the interior, put glass back in it and dolly out some dents, straighten up a bumper or two, and then just drive it with all that, uh, the, the lettering and the patina and everything on it. I think it'd make a cool old ride. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna go to the house and eat and send my customer pictures of that dash now that it's out and probably send him a partial refund and get it boxed up where I can ship it out to him and get him happy. Uh, subscribe. Man, I almost got to 200 by the end of the year. I'm only six away, I think. So uh, help me out there. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you're thinking and uh, leave a comment. And uh, uh, old turd handler, Barry Beamer from Beamer and Son Garage. Yeah, he cleaned out Christine, his Mustang, and he's some kind of animal. Uh, left something in there but I got tickled watching Barry. So it's worth going to his channel, Beamer and Sun Garage, and watch him get those big uh, wild wildlife turds out of the seat of that car. So uh, check him out. Cruiser Nations, good good one if you like car shows. A buddy of mine uh, got a channel. Uh, Auto Salvage Outlaws is another one. He's doing some cool stuff. So there's a lot of good guys out there, and I appreciate each and every one of them. So subscribe, check out my buddies. And have a blessed day, and I will catch you in the next one.